All right, this crazy story, and this ain't no joke, I can't make this up. There was a drug raid today at work. A drug raid! They raided a factory. Like, they locked us down. The Huron County Sheriff's Department locked us down. So, like, we were not allowed to leave. Production was still running, but no one was allowed to leave. No one was allowed to go outside. Anything like that. What they did is they had a bunch of dogs out there running. They was The dogs was hitting on everybody's car. So, if the dog trick or, like, if it indicated on your car, they pulled you into HR, the sheriff's... The sheriff deputies took you to your vehicle. You give them permission to search your vehicle, I guess. Obviously, my vehicle wasn't hit. But you give them permission to search your vehicle. They search your vehicle. If they find dope or whatever, obviously, you go to jail. If they don't find dope, you go back into HR and you immediately take a drug test. The room, I don't know how true this is. Rumor has it 28 people was terminated. Or something like that. I'm, I don't know how true that is. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out more tomorrow, I'm sure. But man, what a day. What a day. I don't even know what started it, what called They it. called a guy, Gary. I'm not going to, you know. But they called him. This dude is a, he is a square, dog. Like, a good guy, but a square. And they're like, I get, this is what I, because I asked Gary about it. I said, dude, what happened? Like, I, you know, you smoke, Gary. What's up? What, what's up, dog? And he's like, uh, no, no, I don't, I don't. I'm like, yeah, no, I just messed with you, you know. And he's like, I was like, well, what happened? And he says, uh, wait, well, he told me a story what has happened, and he's the one telling me about all the cops and stuff out there. And he told me that uh, when they didn't find nothing, I guess there was a hole under his dash that the sheriff said that this is a fishy car. This is a suspect car that whoever he bought it off of used to run drugs and gary looked at him with the real confused uh taunt look like i i bought this from sharp a couple years ago i'm the only owner of the vehicle like i don't know what that holds about maybe i did something wrong but like this was never a stash car just an odd day but just watching some older Johnny Mo videos and kind of trying to gather my bearings, my thoughts, because like my brain just woo, goes all different kinds of places. Like I, I let I let things set and my, like I can't balance. I get too worked up because like I think, oh God, they're not gonna like this job or oh man, I've been dragging my feet on this too long. And it's not that I'm intentionally doing anything, so it's like I gotta make excuses. I gotta do this. I gotta work till nine o'clock. I gotta get up. I gotta cut these videos. I gotta, edit. and then it's like I only get three hours of sleep for all week, and I'm drained at work, and then I get aggravated. Then I feel like I'm starting to get burnt out. But I felt like it's awesome today that I just happened to come across. Like I've been watching Johnny Mo's channel off and on for a long time, but like I never watched a lot of his stuff from like 2014, like when he was like new, new. You know what I mean? And like, and he's just got, a, I'm starting to really appreciate his content a lot more. Like, it's just, today, it's helped me out a lot. Gather my bearings, I'm like, all right, I am a professional. Recognize, I recognize that I am small. I recognize that I don't have a whole lot of accounts which is a good thing, kind of, with me working a job, but I recognize that there's a lot of work I have to do because I'm not going to let myself get burnt out. I'm not going to let myself get aggravated. I'm not going to let myself fail. I will be successful. I am a fucking stud. And this will work.
Just gotta blow it off and we're done. Another one in the books. <laughs>